Attention Canadian seniors. Your bank account is about to get a major boost. Prime Minister Trudeau has just greenlit $1,200 OAS checks, and we've got the inside scoop on when that extra cash will hit your wallet. Stay tuned to learn how this game-changing decision could impact your financial future. In a groundbreaking move that's set to provide significant financial relief to Canadian seniors, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has officially approved the distribution of $1,200 Old Age Security OAS, checks. This decision comes as a response to the growing economic challenges faced by older Canadians, particularly in light of rising living costs and the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. The announcement has been met with widespread approval from seniors advocacy groups and economic experts alike, who see this as a crucial step in supporting one of Canada's most vulnerable populations. The OAS program, a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system, has long been a vital source of support for seniors across the nation. However, with inflation rates soaring and the cost of essentials like housing, food, and health care on the rise, many elderly Canadians have found themselves struggling to make ends meet. This new $1,200 payment is designed to provide a much-needed financial cushion, offering seniors a chance to breathe a little easier when it comes to their monthly budgets. But what exactly does this mean for the millions of Canadian seniors who rely on OAS benefits? Let's break it down. First and foremost, it's important to understand that this $1,200 payment is a one-time supplement to the regular OAS benefits. It's not a permanent increase to the monthly payments, but rather a lump sum designed to provide immediate relief. This distinction is crucial, as it allows the government to offer substantial support without committing to long-term increases that could strain the federal budget. The eligibility criteria for this special payment align with the existing OAS guidelines, meaning that seniors who are currently receiving OAS benefits will automatically qualify for this additional $1,200. This includes Canadians aged 65 and older who meet the residency requirements, as well as those who receive the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIS, for low-income seniors. Now, let's talk about the all-important release dates. The government has announced a phased approach to distributing these funds, ensuring that the system isn't overwhelmed and that seniors receive their money in an orderly fashion. The rollout will begin on specific date, with the first wave of payments being sent to those who have been receiving OAS for the longest period. Subsequent waves will follow in weekly intervals, with the entire distribution process expected to be completed within two months. It's worth noting that seniors don't need to take any action to receive this payment it will be automatically deposited into the same account where they receive their regular OAS benefits. For those who typically receive their benefits by check, the $1,200 payment will arrive as a separate check in the mail. The government has assured seniors that they will receive detailed information about their specific payment date through official channels, including mail notifications and updates on the Service Canada website. The Canada Pension Plan, CPP and Old Age Security, OAS, are two vital programs that provide financial support for retirees in Canada. One key advantage of CPP is that it is a contributory, earnings-based program, which means that the benefits you receive are closely tied to your work history and contributions throughout your career. This structure ensures a predictable and stable income in retirement. CPP also offers flexibility, allowing individuals to start receiving payments as early as age 60 or delay until age 70, with adjustments based on the timing of the withdrawal. On the other hand, OAS is a non-contributory program, meaning you don't need to pay into it to qualify. Instead, it's available to most Canadian residents 65 and older, offering a baseline income regardless of work history. Additionally, OAS includes the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, for low-income seniors, ensuring further support for those who need it most. Together, these programs provide a robust safety net for retirees, offering both flexibility and guaranteed income. While the announcement of these $1,200 checks has been largely celebrated, it's also sparked discussions about the long-term sustainability of Canada's pension system. Some economic analysts argue that while this one-time payment is certainly helpful, it doesn't address the underlying issues of pension adequacy in the face of increasing life expectancy and rising living costs. They suggest that more comprehensive reforms may be necessary to ensure the financial security of future generations of Canadian seniors. On the other hand, supporters of the measure point out that it provides immediate relief at a time when many seniors are facing unprecedented financial pressures. They argue that the flexibility of a one-time payment allows the government to respond quickly to current economic conditions without making long-term commitments that could be difficult to sustain. 
It's also worth considering the potential economic impact of injecting billions of dollars into the hands of seniors across the country. Economists predict that much of this money will be quickly spent on essentials, providing a boost to local economies and potentially stimulating job growth in sectors that cater to older Canadians. This multiplier effect could have broader benefits for the Canadian economy as a whole, making the $1,200 payments a form of economic stimulus as well as a social support measure. For individual seniors, the impact of this $1,200 check could be significant. For some, it might mean being able to afford necessary home repairs or medical equipment that they've been putting off. For others, it could provide the means to visit family members they haven't seen in years due to financial constraints. And for many, it will simply offer peace of mind, knowing that they have a financial buffer to help navigate unexpected expenses or rising costs. However, it's important for seniors to approach this windfall strategically. Financial advisors recommend taking a moment to assess one's financial situation before deciding how to use the $1,200. For those with high interest debt, using the money to pay down credit card balances or loans could provide long-term benefits. Others might consider investing the funds in energy-efficient home improvements that could lead to lower utility bills in the future. And for seniors who are in a stable financial position, the option to save or invest the money for future needs shouldn't be overlooked. The announcement of these $1,200 OAS checks has also reignited debates about intergenerational equity and the social contract between working Canadians and retirees. Critics argue that such payments place an additional burden on younger taxpayers who are already facing challenges like high housing costs and stagnant wages. They question whether one-time payments are the most effective way to address the complex issues facing Canada's aging population. Proponents, however, emphasize the importance of supporting seniors who have contributed to Canadian society throughout their working lives. They argue that ensuring dignity and financial security for older Canadians is a fundamental responsibility of the government and society as a whole. This debate underscores the need for ongoing discussions about how best to support an aging population while also addressing the needs of younger generations. As we look to the future, the approval of these $1,200 OAS checks raises questions about the potential for similar measures in the years to come. Will this set a precedent for future governments to provide one-time supplements during periods of economic stress? Or will it prompt a more comprehensive review of Canada's pension system, potentially leading to structural changes in how we support retirees? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain, the conversation about how best to support Canada's aging population is far from over. For now, though, millions of Canadian seniors can look forward to a welcome boost to their bank accounts. As the release dates approach, it's crucial for eligible seniors to stay informed about when they can expect their payment. Keep an eye on official government communications, check the Service Canada website regularly, and don't hesitate to reach out to Service Canada if you have any questions or concerns about your eligibility or payment date. Remember, this $1,200 payment is designed to provide relief and support how you choose to use it is up to you, but taking the time to consider your options carefully can help ensure that you maximize the benefits of this unexpected financial boost. In conclusion, the approval of $1,200 OAS checks by Prime Minister Trudeau represents a significant development in Canada's ongoing efforts to support its senior population. While it's not a permanent solution to the challenges faced by many older Canadians, it's a clear acknowledgement of the financial pressures they're experiencing and a concrete step towards providing relief. As these checks begin to roll out, they'll undoubtedly have a positive impact on the lives of millions of seniors across the country. Whether used to cover essential expenses, pay down debt, or set aside for future needs, this extra $1,200 offers a valuable financial cushion at a time when many seniors need it most. As we move forward, it will be interesting to see how this measure influences broader discussions about pension reform, intergenerational equity, and the role of government in supporting an aging population. For now, though, Canadian seniors can take comfort in knowing that help is on the way, with those crucial release dates marking the beginning of a welcome financial boost for those who've given so much to build the Canada we know today.